Good afternoon on this Sunday, September 18th, I think it is. September 16th. I'm getting rid of my two of my uh, two of my days. Hello, honey. We just got home. Hello, I love you. I love you. Ouch, you're hurting me, honey. I know. I know. Um, so we just got home from the 100th birthday party, so that was pretty great. Happy birthday to John's Aunt Esther, is her name, Aunt Esther. Great Aunt Esther, it's my mother-in-law's aunt. Uh, she's the only one left of her generation. All of her siblings have passed, right? All of her siblings have passed? Yes. Honey? Yeah. Um, John's grandfather actually passed away shortly after Neil was born. Actually, Neil was only, Neil was only like two or three months old when, when uh, John's grandfather passed away, and he was the oldest. And then um, they had a sister, another sister who passed away, and then a brother who passed away, and, and Esther's the last one. So, um, happy birthday to Aunt Esther. Well, we just got home from the party. I forgot to open the vlog before we left. I meant to, and I totally forgot. Uh, I'm about to, I think, make some cookies. It is just about 2 o'clock, um, and I'm going to make some cookies, chocolate chip cookies, I think, to take with me to my dad's house. My hair is frizzing really weird. But I'm going to go, um, I, did, I just edited Friday's vlog this morning and I set it to processing before we left. Now I'm going to go and um, upload that real quick before I get into these cookies. But, she's coming up behind me, there she, I just stepped on Wednesday. Are you okay, honey? She came up one side of me and, and uh, Buttercup came up the other side of me. There's Buttercup. Are you okay, honey? Thank you. I'm sorry. That's the only problem with Wednesday is that she's so tiny, it's really easy to step on her um, if she's if she's in the wrong spot. So, I didn't mean to, are you okay? She seems to be okay, I must have just stepped on her paw. Anyway, <coughs> yes, I know we're home, we're home. All right, get down, get down. All right, anyway, I'm gonna run upstairs and I'm going to get Friday's vlog uploading um, and then I'm gonna go about making these cookies and yeah. Uh, Neil just got home. Neil, Neil worked to one. He showed up at the party and ate a little bit of food and now he is, he's home. So anyway, I'm going to get to work. <laughs> I know this is a short intro to the vlog. We haven't really done much else this morning other than I'm doing a foundation review. There you go. I'm doing a foundation review today and we went to the party. So I will see you guys in a little while. Well, it's like 730 and I know I haven't talked to you guys all day, but it's 730. We've been to my dad's and back. Um, the boys are actually downstairs right now watching wrestling. Wrestling is on tonight. Uh, what is it? Hell in the Cell, I think is what it's called. That's on tonight. Um, we are, I just filmed my clothes out for my foundation review. So I'm gonna get this makeup off my face. And then I think I'm just gonna edit yesterday's vlog and maybe edit Tuesday's taste test video because like I said it's about 7 30 so I still have a couple of hours that I can do some work in and I'm in a shadow right here let's see if I can get a better lighting oh is that better that's better okay um so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get those the at least I'm definitely getting the vlog edited I'm gonna try to get through the taste test video as well we'll see how that goes um but I'm definitely gonna get this foundation off because it's itchy. I just realized I forgot to say that it transferred really bad in the foundation wrap up. Like not horribly. It's not actually transferring like right now, but like my nose though. Well, not well. No, it's not transferring. Never mind. Never mind. It only transferred on all my sunglasses because my sunglasses were sitting on my bridge of my nose. What are you girls doing down there? What are they fighting over? Oh, my hair's hitting you. They're fighting over a toy. They're fighting over a toy. Girls, behave yourselves. Be nice. Anyhow, uh, my sister and I got to talk a little bit more about our business today, so that's pretty cool. I was showing her around the website uh, for the market we're going to, and I was showing her how to find vendors and stuff. So because she has a lot more free time than I do, she's going to be going through... Hello, honey. Hello, baby girl. She's going to be going through the, um, 
the vendor lists of people who are going to be there and see if she can get on their websites and see if she can find out any information about them, like the kind of clothes they carry, um, the style, see if she can find any styles that they carry, that sort of thing. Because um, there's a, several hundred vendors of clothing. Hello, baby. I got both dogs playing with me here. Yes, I know. I probably smell like Big Pap's house. I probably smell like Big Pap's house. Yeah. Buttercup is just like laying on my belly. It's okay, baby. Anyhow, um, there's several hundred vendors that sell clothing and shoes that are going to be there. And we can't, we, we're not going to have time to go to all of them. We're just not. So the plan is to have her check some out and see which ones look promising that sell clothes that she likes and that she would recommend. And then I will like just take a look at them, but I don't have the time to go through dozens or hundreds of vendors. And I'm, I'm, when I'm saying hundreds, I'm probably saying maybe 150 to 200 vendors um, that are, are gonna be there. Um, maybe a little bit more if they're, if you include all like the shoe vendors and stuff, if you're including all the vendors, it's a couple thousand, but if you're closing, including just the, the clothing vendors, it's a couple hundred. Um, so she, I don't have, I don't have time in the next, what is it month? Because today's September 16th and we go October 16th. Um, I just don't have time in the next month to really, um, try to find, try to find something. So anyhow, um, yeah. I am going to be doing some. Um, do I have you blocked in? I'm sorry. Buttercup can't get out. There you go. Is that better? Is that better? You're going to go pick on Wednesday? Um, so she's going to do that and give me some names that I can go look at. Anyhow, um, I just checked my work email because, you know, I'm crazy. I found out that I'm getting two new employees. We'd asked for three, but we're only getting two. I wish it was three. Uh, because Lord knows we've got enough work to do three. Um, they're fighting over that toy again. Every time I show you guys, they, they separate. It just sounds like they're being really mean to each other. They really, they're just tugging on a toy. If anybody has ever had two dogs, they're literally just tugging on a toy, two ends of a toy. They're not doing it now. Wednesday likes to play. Wednesday really likes to play. Even though she's the older dog, she's a year older than Buttercup, almost. She's like nine months older than Buttercup. Um, Wednesday loves playing, loves to play. Like she'll bring a toy up to me and I'll take one end and she'll hang on to the other end and she'll growl at me. Not like mean growl, just because she's like, it's my toy. But she'll actually like give it to me to hold so that she can play with me. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want, baby girl? Can you hear Neil or Nick? Can you hear Nick yelling? They're yelling about wrestling. Anyway. Yeah. I'm going to get to work and I will see you guys at least one more time before going to bed. I know this is going to be a much shorter vlog than I have been putting out, but um, we were just doing family today, you know? We're just doing family. Um, I'm getting very excited about going to market. I've already taken the time off work. I've already booked the hotel. Um, I haven't booked a car yet because we're waiting for our debit cards to come for our bank account, our business account. Um, like the hotel, you can reserve it with one credit card and actually pay it with another card when you get there. So um, that's what we're gonna do. I already reserved it because I wanted to make sure that we got a room. And yeah, I'm getting excited. Anyhow, I'm gonna get to work. I will see you guys in a little while. Bye. Well, it's time for bed. Do I say that every night? I think I say that every night. It's 1045 and I've already done my skincare routine and brushed my teeth and I'm ready for bed. And John's actually already laying down in bed. And the boys are in bed. Wrestling's over, right? Pretty much. Wrestling's over. I got yesterday's vlog edited and uploading. I have tomorrow's Epic Beauty Fail uploading because I forgot to do it earlier today. It was edited last night, but I forgot to upload it. So that's uploading now. Um, I already have Tuesday's Epic Beauty Fail edited. So I just have to upload that tomorrow during the day because I'm, I'm actually working from home tomorrow because I have to go in on Tuesday to meet with a customer. So kind of stinks because I don't like to go in the office on Tuesdays because 
for some reason my office um a lot of people like to telework on Mondays and Fridays but come into the office Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday I don't know why I think it's kind of silly that's just me so I'm working from home tomorrow I decided and I'm, I'm my my schedule is totally flexible I can work from home whenever I want to as long as I'm in the office two days per pay period that's all I have to do so that's the way my company handles it um, so since I'm going in on Tuesday I'm actually gonna be working home from home tomorrow which is good because I'm gonna upload Tuesday's epic beauty fail and then I'll get off at hopefully 4 30 I'll start work at 8 and get off 4 30 and be able to edit Tuesday's taste test and get that uploading and edit Wednesday's what I ate today because I haven't edited that yet either I have all the video from last week when I filmed it but I haven't edited it yet so but that's that's pretty quick to edit that's easy to edit so I'm gonna do that um Wednesday and Friday on Epic Beauty Fail are supposed to be unboxings, but they may not show up. But the good news is I hit 400 subscribers today. Uh -huh. Did I tell you that? I had, I had 400 subscribers on Epic Beauty Fail. No, you didn't. So it's a giveaway time. It is? It is giveaway time. Every 100 subscribers I do a giveaway. So I have a palette in my drawer that I'm going to give away. And then I also have a... I think I might do a brush set. Or I might just do two palettes. I'm only going to do two giveaways this, this time. I think for 300 I gave away three things, but um, I think for this time I'm just going to do two palettes, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just do two palettes. Because um, I already have them in my drawer. So go ahead and do that, I think. I think so. Anyhow. Um, what else? That's it for the day. I can't believe that John has a relative that's 100 years old. Can you believe you have a relative that's 100 years old? Sort of. Like, I can't even fathom becoming that old. I mean... Oh, I don't like thinking about it. Yeah, I can't. I mean, she's in really good health for 100 years old. Oh, yeah. Very sound of mind. She still so drives. All her own teeth. Yeah. She's uh, in really good health for 100 years old. Yes. Even there's another centenarian at their church who's their friends mm -hmm. and she's in better health than the other centenarian. Oh, yeah. I think that's the right term. Centenarian, right? That's a hundred year old person. Um, anyway, she's in really good health. Like I said, she, she drives. Like I can't imagine that she's still driving at a hundred. My grandfather is about to turn 91 in November and he still drives, but only during the day and only short distances. Like, he won't go further than, like, the grocery store and um, the uh, Things are pharmacy. Yeah. yeah, he comes no here. Travel. Like, we're half an hour away. Like, he won't, well, he won't drive that. But, yeah, he'll, he'll drive to, like, the pharmacy. He'll drive to the grocery store. He actually prefers to walk. My 91-year-old grandfather will walk the mile and a half to the grocery store before he'll drive. Um, but he, uh, or, like, in bad weather, he'll drive and stuff. But... Um, he'll come here. He doesn't like to go that far. He will come here when we have birthday parties and stuff at my brother's house. I'm 30 minutes away, give or take, uh, about approximately 30 minutes away. And my brother's house from them is, would you say about 15 to 20 minutes from my da dad's house, Patrick's? Patrick's house is like, uh, more than 15, 20 minutes. No, because I just have to go across the river. And down that road yeah I, I think it's about 20 minutes okay john thinks it might be longer i don't i don't think so i don't think so i think it's only about 15 or 20 minutes anyway they don't they, he doesn't even like to go to my brother's house really i mean he goes he absolutely goes he goes for like birthdays and stuff um but he wouldn't drive it himself number one and number two he doesn't like to um he doesn't like to be traveling for that long he just doesn't like to be in a car for that long so he only comes here because you know we go to visit him every weekend and uh, for the most part every sunday so um but your your aunt is like oh no she tried i mean she doesn't like to do highway i don't think she she, no. she will if yeah. she has a doctor's appointment or something but she doesn't really like to but yeah. but she will so yeah. yeah i mean i just can't imagine like being I, like i can number one i can't even imagine being a hundred let alone being as self-sufficient as she is at a hundred. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Makes all her own good. I mean. 
Yeah, she's like, she's really, I mean, for a hundred year old, she is fantastic. All of her siblings, um, I don't know what birth order she's in, but all of her siblings like ended up in nursing homes and I mean, not like full-time nursing, like her sister, they're one of four, right? Two boys and two girls? I believe so, yeah. And there's her sister um, was in the independent living part of the nursing home, if that makes sense, where you have your own apartment, but you yeah. have like pull strings if there's an emergency. Up until she died, right? She never went into like the full nursing. No. no, no, no. And your grandfather was, he, he ended up getting sick. He was in an apartment yeah. up until he got sick, like really sick. He had a kid. Yeah, he did. He had a tumor at the he end. A tumor. At the and he, so he ended up in full nursing only for like the last three to four months, something like like it was this it was real great. quick once he got in full nursing. Right. And your well, your grandmother's not in the same bloodline. Um, and then the other brother was in full nursing at the end. Yeah. Because he was having some some issues. He was he had dementia. Yeah. Um, but she's like a hundred percent there. Like she doesn't remember my name, but she remembers me. I only see her like two or three times a year, maybe maybe four or five at most. But yeah, and she says there's occasions she doesn't remember me, but yeah, but still, she's a hundred years old. Yeah, she lives on uh, bologna, eggs, and cheese. Yeah, I'll tell you what. If I live past eighty, I'm gonna eat whatever the heck I want. Yeah. I don't care if I'm diabetic. I don't care if I have high cholesterol, high blood pressure. I don't care. Yeah. After eighty, she loves liver. My gosh. After 80, I'm just going to be like, screw it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Today, I am thankful that we got to see family. Um, I really like John's uncle and his partner. They live in California. We don't see them very often. Um, it was nice to see them, even though I didn't get to talk to them very much over the last two days, like when we saw them yesterday and today. Um, but I do really like them. They're really good people. Um, and, I, and we got to see John, the rest of John's family, too. And they're okay. You Your extended family, your aunts and uncles and stuff. We just don't know them well enough. You know what I mean? So anyway, John likes to say he's the black sheep of his family. And John's uncle probably is the black sheep of his generation of the family. Would you say? Oh, uh, Robert. Robert. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Guess. Well, he's the only boy of four girl uh, with four sisters. Yeah. So, I mean, even if he wasn't like bad and he's not bad, he's never been bad. No. But because he's a boy, he's always been like, yeah. Okay. The out, yeah, the outlier. Yeah, yeah the outlier. Of the yeah. Guy. So, anyway, I'm thankful we got to see John's family. I'm thankful we got to see my family today. Uh, I got, I'm thankful I got to talk to my sister. Um, we are making plans for our trip, and um, I asked her. I think I told you guys earlier. I asked her to start looking at vendors because she's got more time than I do. So she's gonna start looking at vendors and then pick out a few and and uh, tell me what they are so that I can go and look at them. Um, just so that we have some sort of a plan of attack when we get there, because I know, at least for me, I am going to be overwhelmed. I, I'm, I'm going to be overwhelmed it, just because it's such a big, large, and there's going to be so many people there. Oh, just, just it's, from, it's going to be very busy. It's going to be very busy. Yes. And I mean, like hundreds of hundreds of people go to these things. Um, especially this one, for some reason we decided to go on the busiest one of the entire year. You know, well, wonderful. Best to experience it in that regard. Yeah. So anyway, <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. It's gonna be interesting, I'm sure. But maybe John will watch my vlogs that week, cause he oh. won't be with me. I'll do what? Maybe you'll watch my vlogs that week. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I hope today was better than yesterday, and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.